Hex is special. Hex is playing in its own league. Rarely do we see a performer that's as bad as Hex. Have you ever seen this tool over here? Cryptobubbles.net. Look at the performance in the last month. The worst performer was Hex, minus 74.6%. Now, okay, there was the Pulse chain launch. You got PLS tokens. Maybe those performed well. And maybe one month isn't a very good measure. Let's look at one week. How was the performance in the last week? Hex again leads the pack together with the Pulse Chain token. So it's interesting to have these discussions in the comments, right? Of course, Hex doesn't do as well. There's a crypto winter going on, but Bitcoin actually went up by almost 70% year to date. Hex lost year to date, roughly 30%. So the losses are not a consequence of the general macro being bad, of crypto not going up. Those are idiosyncratic losses, losses that are very special to the Hex ecosystem. The Hex Ponzi is simply collapsing. Even if you look at today, right? Pulse Chain and Hex is leading the pack. This is a very consistent underperformance. And I'm not making those videos to bash on Hexicons. I make those videos in order to save you. If you have money in Hex, there are better alternatives out there. They're basically everything but Hex if we just look at the last month. But you can make money from betting on something that simply just moves with Bitcoin. You can just buy Bitcoin itself. And then you can generate alpha on top of that, right? You can deploy your Bitcoin on a decentralized app, for example, that's been around for a while. You can deploy it, for example, on Aave, a borrowing and lending platform. And then you can borrow a token against this that tends to do poor. Now you could simply short hex, that's possible as well, you can do this on fiat.io, but that's probably quite a bit of a jump, right? If you're currently in hex and suddenly you're betting against hex, that's psychologically pretty tough. You have to pay 4.5% per annum to borrow the hex token, but that's relatively low compared to its decline. But something that might be more approachable is to simply just buy Bitcoin, for example. Go to a platform such as Aave, take the blockchain that you prefer. Ethereum, of course, is pretty expensive in terms of gas, but there are all these other chains that are way cheaper. Polygon is very cheap. Phantom does have its issues recently, so I wouldn't use that. But there's Avalanche, there's Arbitrum. And so you just look at what kind of assets can you borrow here. So on Arbitrum, you could borrow, for example, the Chainlink token on Avalanche, you could be borrowing AVEX if you're bearish on the AVEX price action. On Polygon, you could be borrowing the Sushi token, for example, or Matic. Now, why would you do this? Because when you borrow the token, the loan is denominated in that asset. So you borrow the token, you swap it against something you're bullish on, let's say that's Bitcoin, and then you wait for the loan to depreciate versus the asset that you swapped it into. So let's say you're not bullish on the Sushi token. The way to find out the relative performance is to, for example, go here to TradingView and enter something like Sushi in Tether divided by Bitcoin in Tether. Okay, and then you press enter. What you then get is the long-term performance of the token versus Bitcoin. And this is where you make money. This is how you can outperform the market. You borrow Sushi tokens, you've got a loan denominated in Sushi tokens, you swap the Sushi tokens you've borrowed against Bitcoin, you wait for the Sushi token to depreciate versus Bitcoin. At some point in time, you're happy with your gains, then you swap back the Bitcoin to the Sushi tokens in order to cover the loan. And when you see that Sushi relative to Bitcoin went down since beginning of the year by 46%, that means that whatever you've borrowed in Sushi tokens, that loan will have lost its value by 46%. That's then your profit, minus of course the borrowing costs. But the borrowing costs normally, they really aren't too high. So for the Sushi token, that's 6.6%. So from that profit here, you would have to reduce maybe three percentage points because it's half a year, right? So you would have made 43% additional profit on top of what you would have made with Bitcoin. And Bitcoin went up 60 to 70% so far this year. So you've got 60% Bitcoin performance. You've got on top of that 40% shorting performance, multiplying those two, you can make the math, roughly a doubling of your capital. Something you would not have gotten by being involved 
in this Ponzi-like scheme that simply just deflates now, that simply just loses people money. So you have to be clever about this. Don't just follow somebody that shills the next project. Go with things that are safe and make money from the losing projects, from the projects that can't keep up. And it is the majority of coins, the majority of projects that cannot keep up. It's always like this. The profits are very, very concentrated in just a few projects. You've got this in crypto, so most altcoins underperform. You also have this in the stock market. Most stocks underperform the index. Profits are generated and are concentrated in just a few companies. So it's easier to simply just find the losers than it is to find the needle in the haystack, the few companies or the few altcoins that do better. That's the harder approach. It can of course work, it can work by 10 and 100 xing, but it is a pretty tough approach. And if you've got already enough capital and you're simply just looking to grow this over time, if you don't rely on making a 100x, but you simply have your $10,000 and you want to double it every six to 12 months, then there is a possibility to do this in crypto without risking everything and without having to rely on moonshots. This is the main message here. You don't have to defend Hex. You can simply just join the smart money, the people that generate alpha consistently. And I'm not saying I always get it right. I do have my wrong calls as well. Simply just check out the history of this channel. But I try to surround myself with smart people that find gems. And we do have quite a few smart people in the premium membership as well. So if you don't just deploy $100, but if you do have a few thousand dollars and the alpha that's in that group, the outsized returns that can be generated in that group are likely going to outweigh the cost. So feel free to check that out. Be careful with deflating Ponzi-like crypto projects. You only make money in them when you're very early. Hex isn't growing that much anymore. Hex is rather the worst performer among all the large cryptocurrencies. We've seen it in the bubble chart. So don't just work on Hopium rather approach this systematically. That's how I do it. And I'm rather satisfied with the results so far. Feel free to give this a thumbs up if you figured this was helpful. And if you haven't yet, there's also a subscribe button. I'm delivering a video every day on this channel. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one. Bye-bye.